everyone, it's Blake Bundy here from Winning Solutions Inc. And today I will be bringing you guys another Microsoft Access Expert Template Walkthrough. I will be showing you guys where to find the template database on our website, how to download the template database demo, and how to use the demo properly. Most of our templates are not designed to be used on their own. Instead, they are designed in a way that makes it simple and smooth to integrate it into an already existing database that you have already been using. You can also build a more robust Microsoft Access database that is built around one of our templates. If you would like to create a new database that is based off of one of our templates and don't know how or do not have the time to do so, let us know and we would be happy helping you with getting the database that 100% fits your needs. With most of our templates that we offer, there's three different versions that you can purchase. A compiled runtime version, one for internal use, and one for unlimited developer use. Our, our compiled runtime version is a run as is version without the paid full version of Microsoft Access using the free Access runtime from Microsoft. It can be integrated into your existing Access application, but you would not be able to make any modifications to the forms, the reports, the modules, etc. This option is more for those of you who do not see any need to make any customizations to the template. Our internal use version allows you to use or modify the databases however you wish within your organization. And last but not least, our unlimited developer use version allows you to use the database template however you wish for any applications you develop and distribute the template as part of a database you create. Winning Solutions Inc's templates have a strong advantage over shrink wrap software that you purchase from a store or website. With our templates, you receive the source code along with your purchase so you are able to customize and update the database as you please. With shrink wrap software, you do not receive the source code when purchasing the software, which means that you cannot update or customize the database as you wish. In our video today, we will be working on a demo version of our database template. A demo is a simple way that you can view and try out our database templates so that you can determine if you would like to purchase it or not. This is great for customers due to the fact that all of our sales are final. Our sales are final because when we, we give you the source code when you purchase the template. And once we give you the source code, there is really no way that you can return the code. If you'd like to test out our demos for multiple days, you are free to do so. All you have to do is leave the database open so that the data you enter will not be wiped. That is because our demos are designed so that once you close the demo, all the data that you have entered will be wiped from that database. You have to purchase the full version if you would like to save your data that you have entered. Upon downloading a demo for one of our templates, you will have to unzip the downloadable file. Zip files make it much easier to send and download large files over the web. Unzipping a file is a very simple step. All you have to do is extract the file so that you have access to the uncompressed file. If you do not know how or do not understand how to unzip a file, check out our YouTube channel and watch the How to Unzip One of Our Files video tutorial to learn this simple step. The link to that video will be in the description of this video. So now, let us get into downloading and testing out one of our templates. We're going to start off here by going to our website at microsoftaccessexpert.com. As you can see, I have been here before. On the top of our website, there's going to be a toolbar with all the various ways that you are able to contact Winning Solutions Inc. You're going to want to click on the sidebar button on the left side of our homepage that is labeled Database Templates for Sale. A sub list then opens up and you need to select the Database Templates List button to view the list of all of our templates that we offer. The list is broken up into categories. The different categories that we currently have are our most popular ones, appointment and scheduling databases, calendars databases, reservations and booking databases, contact and communications databases, task management databases, equipment and maintenance tracking databases, sales databases, employee databases, education databases, small business databases, and last but not least, database tools and miscellaneous templates. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Microsoft Access Basic Business Purchase Order Database Template. 
So if you scroll up just a little bit here and under our small business section, you're going to see a Microsoft Access Basic Business Purchase Order Database. Go ahead and click that one. Once the web page downloads, go ahead and scroll down to our demonstration section and you're going to want to download the demo that correctly corresponds with the current version of Microsoft Access that your computer is running on. Therefore, I'm going to download this one. Once that demo downloads, open the file and the file is zipped so you need to extract all the contents of the file before you can use it. So hit extract all and then hit extract. Once you've extracted the file, open the file. And with all of our database templates, since they do come from the web, your computer views them as a potential security risk or warning. Now I can assure you that this database template is safe, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on and open the file. With our database templates, you also get a pop-up box just stating that this is a demonstration, so none of the data that you enter in the demo will be saved. If you want your, dem uh, your data to be saved, you need to purchase a full version. It also shows all the different ways that you can contact us. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. However, I'm going to go ahead and close out of this box for now. So this is the basic business purchase order database template. It's a pretty powerful database template. It has a lot that you can do. And what we're going to get started with is we're going to just add a new vendor. So if you go ahead and hit add new vendor, this is just creating a vendor. So we're going to make a fake name. We're just going to put test. But as you can see, you can fill in addresses, cities, uh, what country they're from, what address they like to ship to, um, their phone number, their fax number, their email, all that good stuff. We're just going to fill out a few things here for the sake of the demonstration to work. Um, we'll put in a phone number as well. Okay, but also with this within the vendor creation, you can add in different contacts. So if this was a vendor company and they had tons of different contacts that you worked with, you could do create the vendor information and then you could add in different contacts for the vendor. So if you had, you know, that vendor had 20 employees, you could create 20 different contacts for them. And you can even put in some notes about them. If you maybe have previous sales that you had with them or just previous interactions, you could enter in all those notes. As well as eventually when we make a purchase order in this demo, it will show up in here. So all purchase orders that this vendor has completed will show up in here. So go ahead and hit save and close now. And so what we can do now is if you were to have tons of vendors, vendors within this database and you needed to search for one quickly or you needed to find information about a uh, vendor very quickly, you can do that. So we've added the search vendors tool. So if you go to search vendors, since there is only one vendor, it's going to show up whatever uh, when I type in the name. But you can see that you can search for first name, last name, city, state. But as soon as I type in T, the test one's going to show up. Now, if you had 50 different T vendors, you know, you could type out the whole thing, hit search, and that one with the name you typed in would pop up. And if you want, you can even double click the record right here, and it will open up that information. So you can go ahead and add in some more notes or add in some more context, do whatever you want, edit some of the information. We will not be doing that for now, so we're going to go ahead and just cancel out of this. So it's a pretty cool search function. And so now we're going to add a purchase order. So if we go to add new purchase order, you can see this, has, this section has a lot of stuff. So since this is just a test, um, we're just going to put in the purchase order number of one. Um, the due date, we'll put it tomorrow. How about not today? And then as you can see, the document type is purchase order. If you had a company that did more than just purchase orders, you could add in more document types. The date is today. And the salesman, these are just two test salesmen that we put in. If you purchase the database template, you can put in your own salesman. Uh, so just your first name. As you can see, you also have the debit GL, so you can go in here and you can change a lot of the stuff. So if it was a lease receivable or a notes receivable, prepaid expenses, deposits, we're just going to do accounts receivable from a trade. And you can see even the GL posting date. Uh, we're going to keep that for now. The reference, we'll just put in a one, why not? So now this is the actual purchase order. So you can say what type the purchase order was. If it was a standard sales, was it you're selling drugs, were you selling food, were you selling, elect, uh, was it part of an election? Um, we're just going to go ahead and do a standard sales, the unit price, so let's say you sold $50 of whatever your st standard product they make, you just put in $50, you can see you can even come in here and say how they're going to pay for it or what it was, so we have a huge list of the credit GLs here, uh, we'll just do a random one, we'll say American Express, so you can see it's $50, and if you even want, you can enter in tax information, so if you wanted to add in some taxes, some international tax, some country taxes, or some state taxes, you can do all that. We will not for now. I'm just going to hit OK, get out of this. And so now you can see, though, that once we've clicked out, 
the subtotal increases to fifty dollars if you had taxes it would add in those taxes automatically and it would give you the total for the purchase order so this is a very detailed section of the database oh almost forgot to select the vendor that this purchase order is from so the only vendor in right now is the one we just made so we're going to choose that one let's go ahead and save and close this now and so when you save and close it under that vendor that you entered in it does open up the contact sheet again so if you want to go and like add in some more information or you can go see that you just added a purchase order so look that purchase order we just made purchase order number one is now within this contact within the vendor so you can email the purchase order or you can even print the purchase order from this section so that's it's pretty cool you can do a lot from here so I'm gonna go ahead and save and close this so so now if you like once again very similar to the searching the vendor if you wanted to search for a specific purchase order so if you knew all your purchase order numbers and you wanted to just go search um, purchase order number one search there we go that one that we made the purchase order we made for test that was fifty dollars and purchase order number one shows up and you can even double click it if you want to edit some information about the purchase order so I think this database template it, it's pretty cool it really can do a lot and it, it's pretty powerful if you see stuff that you like within this database template but maybe you want to tweak a few things or add a few things but don't know how simply contact Winning Solutions Inc because if you purchase database template you can further develop this to meet your exact needs anything you want you can ask us and we can edit the database template so I'm going to go ahead and thank you all for taking the time to watch this Microsoft Access Expert database template walkthrough brought to you by Winning Solutions Inc. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like or subscribe to our YouTube channel for tons of other walkthroughs and tutorials. As always, contact us for any of your IT needs. Whether you need programming done, you want to buy a template, you want to customize a template, anything. Feel free to contact us whenever you would like. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post our contact information in the, in the description below of this video. As always, you can also find us on about all social media platforms. Feel free to follow us or like us on any of those. We post quite frequently. Once again, thank you all for watching this Microsoft Access Expert template walkthrough and have a great day.